Hey everybody, Sensi Aldis here. I hope you guys are all all doing well. Um, today I have Sensei Tino here and we're gonna work on uh, the first half of the kata, the joke kata we, we, we did last week. So hopefully you've been practicing that because we're gonna add like the, the next part. So we'll get about a little over halfway today. So I kind of broke it into thirds. So in the end of three weeks, you guys should be able to kind of get to the whole kata and then work on just flowing through the whole kata um, at one time. So we're gonna spend about 15, 20 minutes on that and then we're gonna work on a couple techniques. I also asked Sensei Ed uh, Jocks to come in here today and he's gonna work on some techniques uh, along with Sensei Tino just to give you guys some Aikido techniques to do besides the Joe staff, okay? So let's start out first. Sensei Tino's gonna review um, one time or he'll review it twice, what we did last week and then we're gonna pick up from there, all right? Sensei Tino? Hi. Aikido Jokata number one. Mess up. <laughs> Even Sensei's can mess up. All right, we're going to do that again. Pick up Sensei. This is where we stopped last week. Yes. Right. One more time. Going through it one more time. Okay, good. Thank you, Sensei. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start the second half of the kata, okay? So we'll let him go, um, let's actually have him probably, play, we can face the same direction again, but we're going to start back a little bit further. So we'll start maybe right in here. Right. And we're going to go to where we're going to stop today. Okay, great. So, good job, Sensei. So, what we're doing from this position here, when I did my first strike, I come across, right leg steps across, I come in here, Ichi. Now, from this position, I'm going to slide the Joe back so it looks like this. It's not a thrust, it's a ski, so I pull this back here like a pull stick. Do that a few times. My front hand stays there. I'm moving this back, okay? A little bit closer and you can see that from my hip, forward, back. My front, this hand's not moving. Back hand, forward, back. This where I can adjust to the body or to the legs. Here, here, head, draw down. So I came across here, draw back, ichi. I come around, step in, knee. Now we do a hand switch. So my left hand comes in front and I draw it back again and I go san, shi. Okay? So again, I came across ichi, draw back, ski, step around, left leg is forward, san. Okay? Left hand goes in front, I thrust, I slide back cat stance. So looking at it from this direction, if I came in here and I slide that back leg over, I pivot the body and I come across here, Ichi, all right? This hand draws back, ski, knee, step forward left leg, song. 
Left hand, let's go to the bottom. We come to the front. I draw the throw back, thrust, cat stance, slide here and block. Okay, one more time. So face with me. Put your left side forward and have your right hand on top. So bring the Joe to your left side of your body, about waist level. Take your back foot, slide it straight across. Now using your body to pivot and turn, we're going to pivot and extend your right arm outward to strike. Keep the tip of the Joe right about head level. Draw back, ski. Here. Now keep that grip. Step left side and strike. Now from here, that left side is going to come into the front. Thrusting, ski. Slide back and stretch. Pull the bowl back through and come to your block in your cat stance. Remember the cat stance, your back foot position at a 45 degree angle. It's not straight. It's at an angle. So if I'm looking at you, my back foot is at a 45 angle, okay? 90% of your weight's in your back leg. It burns, it hurts. It's not straight. 45 angle, that's your cat stance. We call that nikawashidachi. All right, so if you want to stop, um, hit pause for a second and practice the first half or maybe practice that second half a little bit and rewind and go forward, whatever you need to do to kind of get that part, go ahead and do that. Um, and then try to go from start to finish. So I'm gonna have Sensei Tino do that again from the start to the finish, okay? And if you're trying to figure out what exactly we're doing, just go back to what I just did for you, okay? Sensei. slide this front hand down and I'm going to flip the back of the Joe into this hand. So this front hand just has to turn and it's going to bring it right into this position here. Okay? So, Ichi, Ni, San, hand change, Shi, Go. Now, the top hand faces direction with me, left side forward, left hand is down. Slide the right hand down, right above your head, just bring it here. Tilt it back, left leg goes back, and now you're gonna do the sliding. It's not necessarily a thrust, we're gonna go, we're gonna here, Ichi. Now right from your waist, step forward with the left side. It's gonna go right up here to the head, knee. From the head, we do a ski, we flip it, we do another thrust ski, and cat stance. Okay, so the whole, the whole set would here. Face this direction with me. Left side is forward. Right leg goes across. We turn. Ichi. So we should be looking at each other. All right, from here, draw back. Ski. Step forward. Strike. Left hand changes to the front. Ski. Catch stance. Slide your top hand down. And flip the bottom of the Joe into the front hand. Just all that has to do is let go and catch it. I bring it here, left leg goes back, and I thrust, ski, motion. Just one time. Ichi. Step forward, right from the hip, flipping it to the head. Knee. Okay, watch again. Knee. Draw back, ski. Now just let the front of the Joe, watch this. I just let go of the back. And the front falls right into my hand. Watch it again. I was here. I let go of the back side. And just the weight of it is going to bring the front of the jaw into my back hand. Ichi, ni. Okay? So strike in one, thrust, let go of the back hand and bring us here. 
Ready down there, thrust again, and block. All right, one more time with me on the set. Left leg is forward, we're facing the same direction with me. So you're gonna face to your right side, okay? Your right foot goes behind, slide, ichi, knee, step left leg, san. Left hand forward, shi, and slide back, go. Down, flip, left leg back, roku, left leg forward, Sichi, Hachi, Ju, Ju. All right. So make sure you guys practice that. It takes some time. And again, just pause it and go again and just do, uh, keep working on that. So now I'm going to have Sensei um, go through it again slowly. And I'll even have Sensei um, Ed do it a couple times. And you just can see both instructors do that. And they can practice a little bit too, okay? All right. Sensei Tino. Sensei Ed, come in, start with your bow, get your bow today. So, <clears throat> now, you guys, even though you're in Aikido class, you can still take advantage of our private lessons, okay? So, just go on to the Bushido Me Dojo at gmail.com. Ron has been emailing those things to you guys just so you know how to set that up on uh, Google Hangout, all right? Uh, maybe even get one of the Aikido senseis to, to, to be on there with us and handle the Aikido students. So. What we're gonna do now is just take this time, you can pause it if you wanna get a quick drink of water, um, and then come on back and we're gonna start working on some Aikido techniques. Just, we're just gonna work on two. All right, so, we're gonna hit pause. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink of water if you're standing and looking. I'm gonna take a drink of water now. All right. And one thing they say that's important you know, against this virus, that you want to drink lots of water, lots of fluids, because you want to keep your, your esophagus, your throat nice and moist, and take any germs, and you want to get it to go down into your stomach, and you know, your, our body's a, a pretty incredible thing, and it can actually kill that virus if you, your body's functioning better, so lots of water and fluids, um, you know, hot drinks, it's, if you're a coffee drinker, hot tea, hot coffee, also, the, the, the nice warm drinks are going to help kill any viruses or germs. Any, and it, not even just the coronavirus, but maybe just the flu bug. There's a lot to learn here. It's not just about this one thing. There's lots of benefits we're all learning about just being healthier. Okay, so I'm going to have Sensei um, Ed. He's going to work on a standing technique, Shomonuchi, downward strike. And we're going to basically do Shomonuchi Ikkyo, Omote, and Ura. He'll explain that. And then some Shomonuchi... Um, maybe Nikyo or Sankyo, let him decide which one he wants to show you, okay? Now, if you don't have a partner at home, just do the best you can. I mean, work on it with an imaginary person. Um, guys, um, I know we don't have any women in Aikido right now, but if you, can, if you actually get your wife to help you, you know, don't beat her up so she won't help you anymore. Don't be you know, tw tweaking on her joints too hard or she's not going to want to help, all right? And it may, maybe actually... Um, teach her a little bit, and so maybe she's this something that she might want to get involved with and appreciate what you do, okay? So don't hurt your wife. Okay, all right. So Sensei Ed and Sensei, uh, uh, Sensei Dino, floor is yours. Okay, so 
Sorry about that. You can just stand it. Hey, stand it. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I'm sorry, sorry about that. So the first technique we shall be working on is Shomenuchi Emote from Suriwaza. So we, we so we're working on Ryotitori Tenshinagi yes. from Suriwaza. So Ryotitori Tenshinagi is two hands grabbing two. So we're going to start off. Sensei Kino will be grabbing both of my hands. So once again, we want to keep our hands energized, energy going out like this. We don't want tight fist. We don't want to be loosey-goosey. We want our energy flowing out. So as I start off, if I'm going to go to my right side, my left hand is going to shoot up. And if you can see from the video here, I form a nice circle with my arms. Okay. So once again, if I'm going to go to my right side, my left arm is going to go up towards the inside of his wrist, and my right hand is going to go down. Okay. So as my left side goes up, my right side goes down. Going to the right side, I'm going to take my left leg and shako. the pin. I'm just going to break free from that grab with my right hand. Sitting posture straight up. Left hand on his chest. His right arm is on my right thigh. I'm just pressing down. Good job, guys. Okay, so again, the advantage you have at home, if you get stuck on a certain part of this, you can rewind and just do it over and over and over until you get that down. So um, there's pros and cons of doing things that we got to do right now, but the important thing is that we're just doing something, okay? All right, so Sensei Tino is going to demonstrate a Yoko Monucci side head strike, and he's either going to do uh, Ikkyo or Nikkyo. Um, Omote or Ura. I'll let him decide which technique he actually wants to show you guys today. But remember, what's the, the most important thing of all these techniques have very similar concepts and principles behind them. So it's in that projected energy, like Fritchie Sensei talks, when they grab your projected energy forward, all right? You're not letting them bring you back. You're entering, you me. You're getting in position and working those hands, working the body, okay? So I'm going to have these guys come back in. And they'll bow into each other one more time. And I'm going to let Sensei uh, uh, Tino will be the Tori and Sensei Egg will be the, the Uke. Okay. We're going to be doing uh, Yoko Minuchi EQ today. We can do it one of two ways, but for the sake of time, we're only going to cover one way of doing this. Correct? Sensei? So the head strike is a side strike. What we see a lot in beginner Aikido class is this side strike coming from way back here. A Yoko Minuchi strike is a cut to the neck. Okay? If we're going to start way back here, we're going to end up doing something else. So it's important that you get your side strikes with Shomenuchi over the head, Yoko Minuchi from the side. 
Okay, we have two choices. We can enter or we can escape. For this technique, we're going to escape in the direction of the strike. Okay? So as Sensei comes in, I'm entering and turning and trapping this hand. Thumb to thumb, right? Thumb to thumb. Here. What else do you notice? We have to be in a low center stance. We're not leaning forward because he can push me over. We're not leaning back because he can turn this into a choke. So we're in a nice centered stance. Then we want you to throw this hand way out here. Why? The safest place to be is to the side or behind. He can't hit me, he can't kick me from this position. Correct? All right. So from here, entering, stance, coming around this window, bringing him right down. This technique lends itself more to Ura than a multi, but you can do it both ways. Right? Here. You can do a standing pin or kneeling pin, okay? If we were going to add Nikyu or Sankyu, the entering move is still the same, right? From this position, we can come in here and do our Nikyu. We can come in here and do our Sankyu. And then either throw or pin, correct? <clears throat> we do it from here. We're coming deep and trapping this hand, thumb to thumb. Throwing it out, coming right back around. And then do your pin. Right? Do the other side. Okay, good job. Okay, guys, so there's some basic fundamental things for you guys to work on there. Now, one thing you can do is people say, well, I don't have a partner in, in uh, Aikido, so I can't practice. But you actually, you can, okay? So if, I'm, if, I'm in, uh, if I don't have a partner, I'll face you, and I'll just visualize you grabbing, grabbing my hand. So I'm in Seiza, roll de tori, I just come in ichi. I just practice. Inhale. All right, if I'm going to, if my right, if I want to go to my right, my right hand's pressing towards the floor, but my left leg comes across. And then this hand's going to push down, ichi. If we're going to move, I could come in chikou forward, okay? So again, from here, they grab, we move in. If I'm going to go to my right, I want to come in ichi and me. If I want to go the opposite direction, to my left, Enter, inhale, and step across right. So if, I go, if I'm in Seiza, if I go left, I step right. If I go right, I step left. That's kind of a general rule on Irimi on entering. So again, in here, okay, each this way, enter, inhale, and across, okay? I could actually work my Shikoi. I could enter here, Ichi, and I could actually just move across and just work on my, my swati vases and my movement. If I go this direction, me, I'll just pivot and come in here. Just work on that, just like if you're doing over an Ura style. Okay? The other part that Sensei did was from this direction, if I'm facing the same direction as you, okay? I visualize that side head strike coming right here. So I visualize the Yoko Minuchi side head strike to the side of my head. I'm going to just move in, Ichi, 
Step with my right foot here. Knee. I just visualized grabbing. Now I want to pretend that his foot's right there behind me, so I'm going to bring this up. I step across and sunk. Ikyo. Okay? Again, so my leg like, like this, look like this here. Each knee. Okay? You see a lot of your ten con turning. One more time. Here. Ichi. Knee. If I want to go the other direction, here, block, each, grab, step across, visualize bringing that hand up, grabbing the elbow, knee, ikyo. So I can just come in, each, knee. I will switch sides, block, each. Okay. So I, I used to do that a lot. I would actually get some nice flowing kind of relaxing music. Maybe the Japanese flute or some drum music. I love the Asian, the, the Native American uh, music too. I would just put that on and just work on my flowing, trying to be graceful, work on my balance, my positioning. So it doesn't always have to be hard and furious. There's a part of Aikido that's the softer side is important. It teaches us some concepts over there, so it makes it much uh, uh, makes the harder down more something fast applicable. It kind of brings these two together a little bit. So I've always been a fan of studying both methods, slow and smooth, not worrying about the self defense part, and then also we're going to part where we're going to be more, more applicable with the bunkai. So any gateway guys, stick to your practice, right? Don't ask, don't sit there and say what you can't do and complain about that in anything, anytime, not just this time, right, in, in, our, in our world, but all the time. Ask yourself, what can I do? I know I can't do this. I'd rather be at the dojo. It's so much better, so much nicer. We feel the same way, okay? But we have to ask ourselves right now, what can I do? And do that. So stay focused on that. You're a martial artist, okay? You're a martial artist. You want to be a black belt. Uh, you just got to train like one and be like one, and, and you need a black belt or have a black belt attitude all the time. All right? So thank you guys for um, uh, sticking with me and keeping uh, sticking to the work, and uh, we'll see you uh, next week with the rest of the Jokata. So make sure you practice those up to that point we left off at today. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.